everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hike the sandstone peak, but we're not gonna go directly to the peak. Instead, we're gonna do this really beautiful six or seven mile loop trail on the Mission Mokwa Trail, a backbone trail, and we're gonna to get to experience the beauty that's here in the, I guess, inside, I guess, the innards of the Santa Monica Mountains here in Southern California, Malibu area. Now, if you wanna do the hike, as always, I have a full guide on hikingguy.com on the webpage. I'll talk about parking and all the logistics. So check that out before you go, call the park, make sure it's all open, all that good stuff. And thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting this channel uh, because of help from you guys. Free guides like this are possible. So thank you so much for that. And if you wanna say thank you for the guide, it's very easy. All I have to do is click the little thumbs up and it helps me out a ton. So thank you for doing that. All right, guys, let's hit the trail so I can show you this beautiful little adventure. Here we are at the Sandstone Peak parking lot and trailhead. And it's a nice uh, area to park because it does have a bathroom. Here are the uh, trail signs and it looks like we're in the right place. There are other places you can park and I'll talk about that in the guide just in case this is full here. And as we go up that Sandstone Peak off to the left over there, nice views of it. Early morning is a great time to do this too because the lighting is all dramatic. And as we go up, we're gonna to get to a T. Now, if you just wanna go straight up to the peak, it's about a mile and a half um, and probably about a thousand feet of climbing, maybe a little more, it's off to the left here. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make the right over to the uh, Mishimakwa Trail and do the full loop, which I, I enjoy much more than just going straight up to the summit. In the beginning, there's a little bit of climbing, but the views are spectacular. Uh, you can see here as we wind down. Now, this is actually the start of the Mishimakwa Trail. If you did park at the other lot, you would come up there from the right, but we're gonna go straight and keep winding around into uh, Carlisle Canyon. And here you can really see, you can get an idea of how spectacular this canyon is and how beautiful it is here especially here I am at uh, sunrise when the, the lighting is all dramatic and the, the rocks really look red, even though they're not sandstone, they're all volcanic rocks. And we're gonna come around the bend, you can start to see the, the rock faces and canyons in there. Really, really beautiful uh, area here, Carlisle Canyon. And the trail's essentially gonna hug the side of the hillside as we go around. Now you're gonna see a little trail off to the right. This is a great viewpoint to look at Echo Cliffs, which are straight ahead. It's a popular uh, climbing destination. That's those cliffs straight ahead there. But we're not going there today. We're going to Sandstone. So let's go back to the loop trail and start heading up. And once you pass that junction, you're gonna see Balanced Rock straight ahead. There it is right there. Really cool rock. And there's actually a spur trail that you can go up to there if you want. People take pictures where they pretend they're pushing it over and all that cute stuff. But we're just gonna continue on the loop. And eventually the canyon kind of gets a little narrower. You start to see more uh, greenery, more lush greenery or mature greenery as we come in here. And then we're gonna come down to the creek. This is all damaged from the Woolsey fire in 2018. Did a number, but we're gonna cross the little creek, which doesn't always have water. Now you're at Split Rock, and this is Split Rock here. Now we're gonna make the right at Split Rock. It's a little counterintuitive for the loop. We're gonna make the right, and you can actually go through Split Rock. It's kind of a uh, thing you do if you're a Boy Scout, but don't feel like you have to be a Boy Scout to do it. It's still fun to do. And you can go through here and go back around. Always have a fun time. I always do that for whatever reason. But you can just come back around and continue on down the trail right here. And again, we're making a right at Split Rock. You'll pass an old picnic bench and then you'll see another trail sign. And shortly after this, it can get a little confusing. The trail is gonna split and we're gonna to head to the left to continue on the mission mock up to the left. Now, if you go to the right, there's a spur trail to Balanced Rock. And you can see it's a little overgrown here. <laughs> It's definitely overgrown the whole way, uh, but it's not far if you do want to go up there and you have the time. It can be nice, uh, nice little side trip. But instead, we're going to continue on the Mishimak where we're going to go up along the creek and uh, basically follow this up. There's some little side trails as we go over here. That's Tri Peak straight in front of us, and then there's Big Dome on the right. 
We're going to do the spur up to Tri Peak, which is right there. It's only about 10 feet uh, lower than Sandstone Peak, which is the highest point here. You can see there's another little trail sign. Always appreciated these metal trail signs. They do really well here. We're going to keep going until we get to this junction. Now, this junction is important. When we uh, continue to Sandstone Peak, we're going to go left here. But to go to Tri Peaks, we're going to go up this little spur. And once we make this little right-hand turn here, right after that, there's another split. And we're going to make another right. And again, really well marked. You can see all of these signs. Very helpful. And then shortly after that, there is another split. And we're going to make another right. And that will be the last sort of trail split until we get to the uh, summit here. From here, we're just going to continue around. There's Tri Peaks and the, the Summit Rock up top. We're going to be climbing up there along the ridge in front of us. Now, I think Tri Peaks might be my favorite part of this hike. Once you come up to the saddle, you're going to get pretty spectacular views up into Ventura County. There's Santa Cruz Channel Islands up there. I really love the views up here. You can see the wind is whipping too. It does get pretty windy. Now to get up to Tri Peak, you're gonna go up this rock face. And it's a little bit of a choose your own adventure. There's a few different trails here, but basically we're gonna go straight up along the ridge. And as you approach, you'll see the summit rock. Now, people can climb up that. There are decent handholds. I've seen people climbing up that before, but uh, most mortal humans just kind of explore around this area, up around the summit. And uh, here you can see what it would take to climb up to the top of that. But otherwise, there's a few little use trails all around that you can just check it out. You can check out the views. There's a Pacific in the distance. I can see Catalina back there. Really, there's Angeles National Forest straight in front of us. Really beautiful from up here. And you can see some of the little trails that wind around. And then once you're done up at Tri Peaks, we're just going to turn around and go back down the way we came to that last big junction that I mentioned. Uh, and the descent from here is actually one of my favorite experiences, too, because you do have these great views uh, up north into Ventura, over to the Pacific. Once you've wrapped this, we're going to come back down to that bigger junction where we were earlier. And now we're going to make the right-hand turn and continue up to Sandstone Peak, 0 0.9 miles from here. And this is all pretty well marked as well. When we get to this junction, there's some water tanks up to the uh, right there. We're not going to go there. We're going to go left. And the loop is going to kind of come around and head back towards Sandstone Peak in the distance there. Now, this is, this is another favorite part of the hike. It's just really spectacular. The views of the Pacific are off to the right. After a little while after the water tanks, there's Inspiration Point and we can go up here. It's just a short spur, and you'll get some nice views, and the, you'll get your first views kind of to the south, I think. There's a memorial up here to an Eagle Scout who uh, tragically passed away when he was 16. He was hiking in Kings Canyon. He fell and hit his head. He thought he was okay, and then he later uh, died from a concussion. There's a memorial there, but you can see the views are spectacular here. Really, really nice. And after that, we're just going to come back down to the Backbone Trail. There's a trail off to the right here. We're not going to take that. We're going to continue straight to Sandstone Peak. But there are a lot of these little windows where you can look off to the right and get some great views as you continue on. And when you're about 5.3 miles in, we're going to look for this little spur trail, this little connector trail off to the right. Now, if you do end up going straight, you'll end up in the same place. It'll just add a little bit of distance. but this is generally what a lot of people do these days. Just go up this little connector. And it's very easy to follow. It's not like an animal run or anything. You can see how well defined it is here. And you're going to start climbing again at this point as well. The last little stretches up to the peaks have a little bit of climbing. Now, when you come out at this big junction, if you went straight, you would have come out to the left. But straight right there is the way back. And up these little granite or these rock steps on the right is the way up to the peak. So we're just going to climb up these rock stairs. And then when we get to the top, we're going to make it the left and we're going to head up along the ridge to Sandstone Peak. Here we are at the top. We're going to make the left. And it's a bit of a choose your own adventure. There's a ton of use trails and connector trails all down here. But basically, we're going to kind of cheat our way left and go straight up to the big pile of rocks there. 
there are some, I don't know, people call this a class three scramble. I mean, you just have to climb up these rocks. It's nothing where you have to be on a side of a cliff or do anything strenuous, just stepping up, you know, rocks, maybe of a foot or two. And once you see the monument, the Allen Monument right up there, you are at Sandstone Peak and you can check it out. The Boy Scouts wanted to call this uh, Mount Allen after uh, a guy who donated the land for the ranch and donated this land to the park. I'll talk about that in the guide on Hiking Guide, but you can see the views are great. There's a lot of little trails around the summit where you can kind of explore and get different views. So this is Sandstone Peak, the highest point in the Santa Monica Mountains. When you're done, we're gonna come back down to that big junction. This is where we came in before, off to the left. And we're gonna make the hard right. And this is a little bit counterintuitive, but luckily there is a sign that says parking lots we're gonna make the hard right and just go uphill for a minute or two before we start our long mile and a half descent, which is right here. Straight ahead is Angeles National Forest. If you look down there, there is Balanced Rock. We just have a nice cruisy downhill. If you were to go left when we first started, this would be the trail you'd come up, but we're gonna go down it and enjoy the views of the Pacific as we do. And eventually you're gonna come back to that junction, that first junction we had where we made the right, and this time we're gonna make the right and just head on back down in a minute or two, we will be back down at the parking lot where we started. So that's the hike. If you stick around for a minute, I'll show you what this whole thing looks like on a 3D map and uh, yeah. All right, so here we are, this is the loop. We're gonna do it counterclockwise around here, ending at Sandstone Peak and then coming back down the Sandstone Peak Trail. Uh, it's certainly beautiful any way you do it. I like it this way because I like going up Carlisle Canyon here, um, but and I, this is probably the most popular routing these days, but here we are at the parking area and you can see the trail starts at the end here. If some reason you can't park here, the best move is to go up to this parking area where there's parking on either side of the street and then hike up and join the hike here. Anyway, we're going up. You can see we have the um, Sandstone Peak is right up here. We saw that when we first went up there. But we're going to continue up. This is the T-junction. If you want to go straight to the summit, you would make the left. But instead, we're going to come over here, wind around. This was that junction with the trail to the Mishimakwa parking area. And then we're going to come in to Carlisle Canyon over here. This difference in color is just different satellite photos. There's not, no geological formation here. But we're going to wind around. This is that overlook that I showed you. Here are Echo Cliffs right here. And then Balanced Rock is up in here. I think it's up in here somewhere. There it is. Look at that. Balanced Rock right there. We're going to continue around. This is where the trail got a little bit narrower in the canyon. We came down. We did that stream crossing at Split Rock. We made the hard right. And then we made the hard left. This was the trail that went up to Balanced Rock over here. It's a little bit of a climb. But then from here, we're going up along... The creek, which you can see below us there, up along the creek, we're going to follow the trail all the way up here, up and around. And here is that split where we go up to Tri Peaks. Now, Tri Peaks is right here. We had that split, we cross that, the other split, and then we wind around and we come up to the saddle. This was where the views of um, Camarillo, Santa Cruz, really, really beautiful. And then we work our way up to the summit right here. From there, we head back down to that last junction. We hike up here. I mentioned a trail junction with the water tanks. Those are the water tanks. And then from here, we're gonna head back around. There we go. Here's that inspiration point. Little turn off. We're gonna keep going along this ridge uh, all the way until we get to that cutoff right there. Now I mentioned if you went straight and you missed the cutoff, basically the trail will come up and loop back around here. So worst case, if you miss this, it's about 5.3 miles in, but if you miss it, you'll come up back into this junction. But otherwise, we'll cut that off. We went up the stairs and then up to Sandstone Peak. And then from there, back down, and then back down this long climb. And you can see this is where we came earlier and I showed you um, balanced rock down here. You can see it as you hike back down. It's right there. But you can see we're hiking right above where we came up on the Mishimakwa Trail. And we're going to wind all the way down here. 
and come back to that junction and then come back out at the parking. So that is the hike, have fun. It is a definitely a Southern California classic.